Welcome back to Skullgirls. Last time, oof, we have a girl with two arms and can basically make you into a sandwich. Oh, uh, shit, shit gets messed up real quick. So let's see, we've completed Philia. Parasol, Cerebella, and Misfortune. You know what? Let's go with somebody different. Let's show them what real wrestling is about. Oh, wait, I can't access it. I hate it when everything's like locked or not locked or something like that. Ah, oh, hell, why not? Magnum Opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more. Extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites regulating the soul con con contamination must be difficult. Indeed, but with a proper theoret theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generates powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey, Crab, shut it, I'm busy here! The Avera unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. We designed it to be a special link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it up! Let's get to the good part! To think that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat the Skullgirl once and for all. I think we found Baby Herman's match there. Oh, that's nasty. Hey! Hey, listen! What? Hey, no, we got! I found my resident detector picking all the hills. The action down how? It's her, boss. The Skull Girl's on the move. Coffee and, and give me 15. Ready, everyone? It's time to paint the towel red. Avery, so did the boss take a bath or what? And what does she brush her teeth with anyway? Made a polish. Take a bath and then use your body routine when you're blind. 
But there is something the audience needs to see. Hot 2 team fighting! That made no goddamn sense. Do I know you? You don't. Everyone good to go? What's wrong? Just She came out of Cool World. Seriously, Peacock looks like, like she came out of Cool World. Can't get much weirder than that, folks. It's the fun! Target confirmed. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! It's the fun, she said. <laughs> this is the most weirdest fighter I've ever played. Well, the animation, my god. Death by cream pie. Death by cream pie, yo. Man, who are these puzzles getting between me and Skullgirl? Don't you know who I am? I was built to beat Skullgirls. The sooner I get done with that Skullgirl, the sooner we can get back and watch glorious Annie, Sympathy, and the Star Stuff. Yeah, I gotta get back in time for wrestling. I heard Bear Wolves coming out of retirement. Dr. Avian! That is too tough. It is because of... Oh! Open the pot! The dad's in trouble! We're too late. Whoever did this really did a number on the lab. Patricia! You hear that? I, I think I heard Dr. Avian. Dr. Avian, who did it to you? I have zero Valentine betrayed us. She let the skull girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian, followed by H30. Others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the skull girl. Boss. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make. Ah! I see her, boss! Skull guard's right over there! Wait, it can't be. I mean, she 
cheese is spelled you? I'm sorry, my child, but every new year with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. And that a peacock? She, she's more look. She looks looks more like a dead of me extinct. Enough. Avian's legacy ends now. Don't you know the rule by playing a gag character? Hello, Nice! Nice place you got here, by the way. Salabate's ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expect you to be double. But don't worry, I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both I and I are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skull Girl. And you led it right to us. As though I explained to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. I'll admit you were almost in, an interesting opponent, but infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Double! It's time, Labs. Eight. It's time that H final experiment came to an end. Ah! We'll show you, Wicked It Lady! We're gonna murderize you! Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they said. They said you stay to hell for what you did to the doc. The power gag compels you! Death by gag. Marie! Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Please, don't worry about you. Somehow, Sh MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine, and I was created to stop you. And there's no way you could beat me, so of course I'm worried about you. Look, Patricia, you will understand. Whoa, is that him? So all these people are. 
from the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis, the Medicis, all must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. You must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. By these days, you'll slip up and you'll just be as bad as those guys or worse. You leave me. You leave me. You leave me with no choice but to beat you down. Blow you up and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? I see it is on like Donkey Kong. Bang, bang, bang. Appreciate you trying to put up a fight. Now about the skull heart. Who needs wishes? I'm already as drunk as there is. Blow <laughs> that motherfucker up! Foolish child! Do you really think this is over? Right, Mary. Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us and I ran. When I found the skull heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. 
We're good. You always be my friend, got it? That makes me happy. Tell you what, now pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, save the day, it's rerun season. I don't have much to do, so why not? Well, that and blooding those mafia fools sound like who? That would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you one last time. Already. I've been slaughtering your goes all night. I'm missing my stars and I need my beauty sleep. Then let me tuck you in your final bedtime. I went too fast there. So, um, next time, if there is a next time, well, actually, let me. I went too fast on the draw there. Yes, I do have a lot to learn. <laughs> so next time, we'll probably do someone else probably less crazy or even more crazy than we already think. More Skull Girls right after this.